Hey my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a multi-gradient mask in Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. That is super important, thank you for that. Also, this tutorial is based on a funny story. Tom met me in Vienna and he is the first fan of my channel who ever recognized me on the street just walking by. So we talked a little bit and later that night he sent me a message on Facebook asking how to do that. So let me explain the problem, what it is and how to solve it. Because I tested around a little bit in Affinity Photo and I found a pretty cool workaround. Uh, so let's say you want to recolor this image uh, in pink so you have a nice contrast to the blue and of course you could now paint in a gradient here with your gradient tool that would act as a mask on the adjustment as you would do let's set this side to black so it goes from black to white and you can see we have a nice gradient the problem now in affinity photo is when you would paint a second gradient this would take the first gradient away and you would only ever have one gradient so that's a problem okay so i will delete this recolor adjustment and create another recolor adjustment where the mask is untouched uh, so here we have recolor i set it to pink again and here comes a super simple solution that i found as a workaround so easy you simply take your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over your picture and then you set up a gradient so take the gradient tool and draw in here and you want the gradient initially go from black on one side to black on the other side and then you want to have one side opacity zero so it's transparent like this okay you have a gradient here and the next step is that you pull the gradient layer onto your adjustment layer like that so it's inside here click on the triangle you will see that it is here and now to make it act as if it is a mask you click here on the blend modes and go down to the last setting of blend modes that says erase and you can see here that this will erase parts of the mask so now we have a gradient here and of course because this is a rectangle i can move it around wherever i want and i can resize it and i can readjust my gradient however i want because i still can pick up my gradient tool and you can see here i have the setting i can move this around i can change it from linear to elliptical to radial to all these kind of different uh, things but more importantly for us you can now simply duplicate like right click and then duplicate this and you can move it around you can see now i have two gradients so i can uh, for example rotate this in the other direction let's do this real quick one second sorry there we go let's rotate it to the other side and move it to the edge and I can put this more to the middle and now you can see we have a gradient that comes from the left and we have a gradient that comes from the uh, from the right now you might think okay I want to have some pink that's coming in the low, lower area upwards at a, as a gradient so I simply duplicate it again but you would be wrong about that let me explain why that is the reason so let's make another duplicate right click duplicate on that layer and I will rotate it again and I will put it down here and you can see nothing happens why is that the case because in this area we already have erased something so if you erase something that has already been erased of course it doesn't make any effect doesn't change anything but you can still do it because I found another workaround that you can do. So what you have to do if you want to add something in an area where it has already been erased is you simply set the fill from white to white on the other side. Let's give some opacity here and set it to white and then set the opacity to zero again. And we don't see any change. Reason for that is because 
the layer is still in the blend mode erase but now we want to set it in the red in the blend mode normal so the most upper one and you can see here now things are being added again they are being added on the wrong side but it's not a problem for us we will simply rotate this upside down and I will stretch this out a little bit and I want this to be down here and you can see now that I have multiple gradients on my picture coming in from the left, from the right and from the bottom up. We have this nice pink color that is giving a nice contrast to the blue that is sitting in the middle and also like mixing up with other pink colors in the picture. So that's a pretty cool workaround. Tell me how you use that workaround, if you enjoyed that, and if you have any other questions or ideas for future episodes. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Bye.